Barack Obama has been elected the first African-American president of the United States. But that's not enough for some people. No, they're not stopping there. These people say that Barack Obama has also achieved another high-ranking unelected office. He is now, according to them, officially our first real-life magical Negro. Now, in case you don't know what this means, the magical Negro is a mythical figure, usually in movies, who just shows up one day simply appears to help out the white protagonist, kind of like an angel. Think Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life, only black and not so whiny. Actors such as Sidney Poitier, Morgan Freeman, Michael Clark Duncan, and Will Smith have all played the magical Negro, portraying characters like the brilliant and wise prisoner who happens to be shackled to Tim Robbins on The Chain Gang, or in other movies, the clever caddy, the innocent and sadly executed prisoner, or the, ingenious, the, or the genius janitor. The magical Negro is a loner and never has any family, friends, or loved ones. He always comes across as unthreatening and supporting. Wise, but not a smart ass, and black. But black like Barack Obama, not black like Al Sharpton or Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Frankly, I think white people talking about Barack Obama as the magical Negro have it all wrong. Yes, he's articulate as Joe Biden famously and insultingly called him. And Barack Obama still selected him to be his vice president. And he does seem genuinely wise, caring, and understanding. But if you focus only on these qualities, you make him seem less human and more like some myth or comic book superhero and not just the most qualified man to be president. Plus, Barack Obama is the protagonist. He's not the sidekick. He's not the janitor sweeping the floor of the Oval Office late at night who gives advice to the president on everything from grooming tips to career guidance to life-changing wisdom. He is the fucking president. The magical Negro would be the one sweeping up. He's got all the answers, but he's powerless. He would say to the president, none of my business, but I wouldn't wear that blue suit with that to press conference. And that tie, no, sir, that's a fashion blunder. <laughs> It's an eyesore. Really, Rastus? Are you sure? What's wrong with my suit and tie? Well, you just don't look right. You mind lifting your legs? I gotta sweep up under them dust bunnies, Fred. <laughs> the magical Negro's role is thankless. He's forced to spend the entire movie in some shit job, trying to get the hard-headed hero, some stiff, clueless white guy, to see the light. You really need to hug your son. And listen to your daughter when she talk about her boy problems. Pretend you care. And be nicer to your wife. Maybe she'll stop drinking. Of course, the classic example of the magical Negro is found in the movie The Legend of Bagger Fans, starring Will Smith and Matt Damon, directed by Robert Redford. First of all, Will is literally a magic, magical Negro because he materializes out of nowhere to help the disillusioned Matt Damon. Where'd you come from, Bagger? <laughs> How do you know so much about golf? We never know. Bagger gives us vague answers. Matt doesn't press him, fuck it. Bagger is a caddy and a mystic who dispenses great advice that at first sounds crazy. Try your putter instead of your sand wedge. That'll work better for you. Are you sure? Because see, my ball is sitting in the sand trap and that's why I went for the sand wedge. Listen to me. Use your putter. Long look at the magical Negro. Matt pulls out his putter, holds it out. Amazing, Bagger. You're incredible. Why don't you play yourself? Why don't you compete? Oh, 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 no, I do not do that. I help others. I give advice. I don't actually do anything. That would conflict with my role. That being a magical Negro. Put here in this caddy shack to help you, Matt Damon. So I'll just stay here in part wisdom and polish up your cleats. I also think that the magical Negro is only magical in the white world. When he gets home, he's just a guy, like any other guy. It's possible that thanks to Barack Obama, along with the death of the angry black man, we just may be seeing the death of the magical Negro. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant.